Hey guys, my name is Kaushik and welcome back to Let Code. In this video, we are going to explore one more feature from the Playwright Test Runner and the version is 1.13, that is base URL. Uh, we can do that in two ways. One is the global configuration and another one is the local configuration. Don't worry about it. I will tell you more in detail. So stay tuned. Okay, so first of all, uh, we go to our playwright.config.ts file and within the use uh, with this uh, object, we are going to give another thing called base URL. And then I'm going to say my base URL that is going to be https colon slash slash uh, litcode.in. Okay, it's a bit simple concept. Concept the litcode, uh, I mean, uh, litcode.in is my base URL. And after that, whatever we are going to get, for example, litcode.in slash, um, let's say that sign up. So this slash sign up is my uh, next to the base URL, right? So this is going to be the first part is going to be my base URL and second followed by the other things. Okay. So how we generally used to do is without base URL means let me give you a demo for that. So here I have like three tests, right? So first of all, we have to say like a let code.in slash uh, sign in and then followed by let code.in slash test. That is what we have to give within the go to, right? Page dot go to. But here you can see that I have like let code uh, like slash sign in slash test alone, right? As of now, I'm just going to comment it out and let me write and show you, okay? So I'm going to say habit uh, page dot go to and then i have to say like let code dot in slash sign up right but already base url is let code dot in so i'm going to give only the uh this page url that is slash sign up okay and make sure we are going to give the slash as well that is very important okay and i'm going to write a expect condition as well so just to check the url so here i will say like uh, expect and i'm expecting this to have the sign up okay and similarly i'm going to write two more tests as well here so one is for the sign in and another one is for the uh, test page test page is nothing but the workspace so this is like let go dot in slash test and this is our workspace okay now let's go and bring up our terminal i'm going to and then i'm going to say npm run test okay so let it run before that we will understand the difference between local and the global configuration so here we have this playwright.config.ts right so that whatever we specify within the use that is going to be uh, reflect on all my test cases okay so it's going to reflect on all my test cases not within the test multiple tests within the same file but all the files okay uh, let me give you an example for that but local is like uh, for a particular test or particular test file if i want to overwrite then i can use the local configuration okay so here you can see that uh, three tests passed and of course we can uh, see the report as well just in case if you wanted to see all the screenshots so let's go to our file explorer and i'm going to bring up this generate report back file so we can see all the reports so like uh, with the screenshot for each and every test right so here you can see that we have this uh, base URL demo test, right? So here you can see that I can sort it based on the order. So first one is go to sign up page and here you can see the, uh, we are able to see the sign up, right? So second one is the login page and this is the, my login and then the workspace that is this one, right? So everything is working fine. So far so good, right? Now let's go. Uh, let's, let me do one thing. Let me create a copy of this file. So I'm going to make it like, uh, 2.ts okay now if i run both the test of course it's going to execute in both the same base url right so it's going to execute in both the same uh, base url but i don't want to do that i want to run this test to base url dot test 2.ts in uh, with a different site for example now my base is going to be like play dot let go dot in okay this is what the expectation is now this is going to be my base url right so what can i do is i can simply go and say here like uh, test dot use and then within this brackets i can say like base url and i can specify the base url here okay so that is the beauty of local configuration i believe you understand the difference between local and the global configuration okay so global is like it's going to reflect to all your pages but if we have a scenario where we want to overwrite the global, then we can use the test.use. This is like your local configuration. Okay. So I hope that makes sense to you and this is very uh, easy to understand. Okay. Nothing much here. Okay. Now let me run and show you. So I'm just going to take P of this guys and let it edit and the URL is going to be this one. Okay. Let me change and run this. 
okay let's have only one i think that is sufficient for here okay now let's go to our configuration file and i'm going to bring up the uh, another test file as well so i'm just going to copy this guy and here our file name is test.2 okay now let's go back to our on this guy and i'm going to say npm run test okay So now here you can see that it's actually running four test cases, three from the first file and one from the from the another file. Okay, so that's it. Very cool. Okay, so all the tests passed. Uh, just in case if you are interested on the reports, we can generate that and check as well. Okay. Okay, so we got the report. Let's go and we have one failure uh, that is previous failure. So ignore that. Now we have this one. Go to sign up page uh, for the play.letco.in. So, so you can see this, right? So that's it. Very cool. It's working uh, based on the global and the configuration file as well. Okay, so that's it. Very uh, easy concept, easy to understand and very useful concept as well. Okay, so that's it for this video. I will see you in the next one uh, very soon with another great example. Thank you. Tata, bye bye. Take care.